at the Uganda Deaf Society, persons with disabilities are honed in life skills, a community that thrives through healthy competition. Tembo Zemberi is an instructor at the training school. With students still tied at home, he had resorted to carpentry to earn a living. Through COVID, COVID-19 really affected us so much in that schools have been closed for a long time and us, the teachers, are actually uh, really uh, hard up for money. That's why you see now we are trying to uh, uh, do something in the workshops because even the rent is really, uh, the landlords are up to our neck. It's been a long holiday whereby we are not receiving any salary. He says the government has not made an effort to put in place standard operating procedures. For instance, uh, of course that is the way the deaf do communicate because when you do put on a mask, you won't be able to see. Uh, I think it, the only, uh, the, the most effective way is for the deaf would be uh, social distancing. But, you know, that is... Uh, the deaf culture, you really have to be, uh, you really have to see what the deaf is uh, signing and the mouth is very uh, important, it plays a big role. His counterpart says such initiatives have offered him survival. All parents to bring those children to school because if my parents never brought me to school, meaning that means anything I am today wouldn't have been possible. But now I, I got a job and here I am working and I'm living a good life. Grace Kusasira, a teacher, has remodeled herself into a shop attendant due to the pandemic. She says when the schools reopen, it will be a challenge to train the sign language to students. Uh, hearing students are learning on TV, on radio, but the deaf are not, eh? they are not having that opportunity. And there's a the, the, I'm worried that they might deteriorate, like what they learned uh, is, is all going to evaporate. Hmm? It, they the State Minister for Disability Affairs, Helen Asamo, while addressing the press, outlined the setbacks that needed attention. The importance of accessing and using sign language in communication for the deaf persons as their right. Because without sign language members, the deaf community will never get the message. It also emphasizes the need to have the access of information by deaf persons through sign language. This therefore means that there is a need to promote sign language through awareness raising. Alex Ndezi, the deaf representative in parliament, challenges the government for neglect. I am requesting government. If possible, to help us and uh, open up the schools as soon as possible, because uh, home learning is uh, the hardest thing that we can achieve. This, as the community marks the Deaf Awareness Day every 24th of September, Uganda today joined the rest of the world to commemorate the International Deaf Awareness Day in Arua District with the theme Celebrating Thriving Deaf Communities with Sign for Human Rights. Here at the Uganda Society for the Deaf, the disabled children are able to attain theory and after they have a hands-on training which helps them to get employment opportunities resulting into them earning income that helps them in their day-to-day -day activities. You that is not disabled, what can you do? Lucky Atari Vinjira, CTV, PM Edition.